Thank you, Linda. Nearly 800,000 people suffer strokes each year, right? That's, that's a lot of people. It's a lot uh, of people. And, and you know what? Seconds count when someone shows symptoms of a stroke. All right, now there's a new way to give patients the treatment they need before they even step foot in the hospital. It's an interesting new thing, and we want you to get this look at it. This is the first such ambulance on the East Coast. This high-tech emergency room on wheels is equipped with a CT scanner. It can detect if a patient is suffering a stroke before they even get to a hospital. The quicker we get to the patient, uh, the more life-saving it can be. Those few seconds can determine whether or not someone suffers severe disability or even death if we don't get to them in time. This mobile stroke unit is manned by a highly skilled team, including a stroke neurologist. Only six of these ambulances exist across the country. Now one of them is right here. New York Presbyterian treats more than 2,000 stroke cases every year, one of the highest volume volumes in the world. Strokes can be debilitating. The goal with this new unit is to prevent permanent damage. We are beginning intensive treatment for these patients before they ever get to the hospital. So by the time they arrive, they have already received their treatment and they're well on the way to recovering. All right, uh, the mobile stroke unit started taking patients earlier this month. It's pretty mm -hmm. fantastic. The hospitals hope to add additional units in the near future. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. And really identifying the warning signs of stroke, it really can be difficult. Yeah, we're joined this morning by supermodel Claudia Mason, who was actually a stroke uh, mm -hmm. survivor. Uh, Claudia, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. L listen, let's get right into it. You know, take yeah. us back to that day. You know, you're, yeah. you're a young lady, you're at Roosevelt Hospital, the doctor's yeah. telling you that yeah. you were having a stroke. Yeah. You didn't think you were. I mean, what'd you Hor think when they told you that? Horrifying, awful. I mean, it happened at uh, in a lobby in an apartment, in a, a building, Midtown, New York, uh, before an appointment, and I had the most horrific headache of my entire life. And right. I don't have migraines, so I had no idea what was going on. My visual field was going in and out. Should have been a clue. Didn't know because I was a healthy person with no family history. Of yeah, this. yeah. So when finally I went to the hospital the next day, don't do this, don't ever do this. You have to catch these symptoms, which I'm about to tell you the acronym, and you never go to sleep and wake up. I, I'm, it's amazing that I'm okay yeah. and I'm here. Yeah, so tell but us when the, the acronym. doctor said, yeah. right, so the acronym is, there's so much to tell you, so I have to paste. <laughs> Fast, F-A-S-T, yeah. right? So uh, F is for face uh, drooping. Mm -hmm. A is for arm drooping. Weakness, yeah. Um, right, weakness, there you go. S is for speech difficulty. I add in sight difficulty because that was only the only way that I was affected, the only place. And then T is time to call. So that when the doctor told me that I had had this, it was a vertebral arterial dissection. Wow. Totally healed, by the way, a couple of months later, Thank internally. Goodness. Thank you. Have a little, little visual field deficit still to this left side of my visual field, but that was the only place that I was hit, as I say. No, no cognitive uh, fallout, right. no muscular. Wow. And you were saying if you had gotten to sleep and not really thought about what was going on, I mean, you might, you n don't know what would have been on the other side. Listen, we are hearing about FAST, that acronym, time and time again. Yeah, if you're listening it's on to the, the radio, radio and everything like that. Right. Right. Why is this now your mission? And what are your hopes that also this uh, CT scan that's now in ambulances, Yes. how is this going to help improve everything? Well, I don't know about this new, it's sounds fantastic, this new device. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to ask my own doctor how she feels about that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's great because the word has to get out more. That's why I'm doing that's why right. That's why I'm here with you guys. That's why I've been on other news programs. Because I am here. I have to just keep saying I'm here by the grace of God. I, I, I am a healthy person with no family history from a freak accident in a dance class mm -hmm. because I whipped my head around in a jazz class. And in wow. that moment, that is unbelievable. one in a million shot of this happening. So why am I doing this? Because if, if I can help people go, oh my God, don't do what I do. If you have a horrible headache and you see rainbow colors and your vision is going in and out and that's never happened to you before, don't just go home like I did. That yeah. is wild. Yeah. I listen, think I'm here also to say that. This Saturday is uh, <laughs> yes. World Stroke Awareness Day, so we're spreading the word for this Saturday yeah. as well. And uh, you can still get your book, Finding the Supermodel it's in You. It's fantastic. It has so much compelling <laughs> narrative. I wrote it by myself. Great pictures and great advice for anyone, no matter whether they want to be a model or not. Yeah, Love it. and you so. know what? You know, you're taking your work from the catwalk, not only inspiring others, but really yes. making this your life mission Thank and you. making sure 
other people don't yeah. survive and survive mm -hmm. and come out on exactly. the other side alive. Well, can I just say, because a stranger helped me at that point when I had a horrible headache, and she said, I think you should call 911. And I said, oh, stop it. I'm fine. I'm going to go home. No, yeah. she recognized something that I didn't listen to. So even if it's not happening to you or your family, you can help a stranger. We're glad you're feeling well. Thank you. All right.